So the handlebars are actually impaled in one's tummy, weren't they? So how did your brother help you in that moment? I stood up, and I was out of the you know, things like that, and I feel like I'm into my guts and my covered in it. And that's when I feel like it's my life. I'd like to tell you what you did. Yeah, I walked down on my bike, and I threw in my bike, and I got a short line, and I got out of the bike, and I put pressure on her, and I got her to get out of the bike, and I got her to get out of the bike, Put pressure on a girl willing to stand the breathe until the ambulance came. Of course you need to have talking to you, didn't you, to keep you conscious. How did you know what to do? Um, through um, the Quebec course with the same from the ambulance. So they told you a first aid course and you were able to remember it in the end of the day. And you, they were so impressed with you last night, you got a national award, the young hero of the day. How was that? And what did you think of your brother Kyle when you sent up with you for saving you and I? I think I'm not that mistaken. Now your poor mum, are you back on your bike today? Yeah. So there's no stopping them. Back on their bike, perfectly healthy, but most of all they've got each other. We have to start for a while. Sorry, but I'm too busy. That's what it's been so hard to do. They have to be one now for the very latest. We speak to three generations of the same family from Essex. Ladies have described it worse than labour pain, but it kind of feels like there's barbed wire just kind of wrapped around my insides and someone's like pulling it and then, yeah, it, I get right shoulder pain. Obviously because it's in my diaphragm, I feel like someone's crushing my lungs. The impact of the incessant rainfall yesterday. These houses have been flooded again in Lowestoft. We can't keep going on like this. We're all spending so much money on making our homes nice for what? For three years down the line for it to all happen again and everything get ruined. Extinction Rebellion protesters from the region take to the streets of London. And why this is the last crop they will harvest on this land in Norfolk. Tonight, the BBC has carried out the longest study of its kind into a condition called... Before menopause, Bethany's nan also suffered. She tried to get help from her granddaughter on the NHS, but when she couldn't, she paid £7,000 for a private operation. How difficult was it for you to go through that and see her as bad as she was? Sometimes she wasn't so much for my own trip, obviously, because it was a lot and nobody would understand. Bethany's still on painkillers, but her life has changed since paying for surgery. So they found endo. I don't know how much, but it's all been removed, so... It does make me angry, but, you know, it was worth it, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know if we could put a price on help. After hearing stories like Bethany's, MPs are launching an inquiry into improving care for the condition. She hopes it will lead to quicker treatment and an end to people describing what is a chronic illness as period pain. Nikki Fox, BBC Look East. Well, then the pop, that shouldn't be happening, should it? No, it shouldn't, I don't think. And certainly there is some excellent care in the NHS, but our concern is that the NHS hasn't necessarily faced up to the level of demand there is for people with endometriosis needing support and surgery. So if you can't get a impact in the rise. A new public health drive called Every Mind Matters is launched tonight, produced with members of the royal family. It coincides with a new ITV campaign encouraging more of us to talk to each other. We have two reports. In a moment, Derek Johnson on how Anton Deck want Britain to get talking. First, Malcolm Robertson has been to a school in Norfolk. Me, you, your brother, your mother, your friend, colleague, or your neighbour. Princess William and Harry narrating a television advert about mental health. There are things we can do. Their wives, the Duchess of Cambridge and the Duchess of Sussex, have also lent their support to this campaign. Every Mind Matters will show you simple ways to look after your mental health. It's been launched by Public Health England with the aim of treating mental health. Hello guys and welcome back to yet another video. 
Today, we've got a bit of a shorter video, a more relaxed, relaxed video, taking a look at this thing. For this is an old DVD duplicating machine that I got from work when they were throwing it out about one and a half years ago. I've got a much bigger video planned for next week, so I think we should actually open it up, see what's inside, clean it up, and see exactly how it works, because this is one interesting bit of kit. Anyway, let's take a look. So, here we have the Verity Systems Power Tower. It has eight dual-layer DVD rewritable drives, and I assume this was used for duplicating DVDs. I'm not exactly sure what it would have been used for at the place I worked at a video production company, but uh, I never saw them deal with DVDs, you could say. Uh, I've got a 